everybody. So because I'm not able to be with you all, I decided to share a little bit about me. Because if I were there, I would still tell you these same things. So here goes. It's me and the hubs. We've been married for seven and a half years. We've been together for a total of 13 years. We met in college and here we are. Here's my oldest, Cameron. He gets into everything. He's learning how to say small phrases, his ABCs, but all in all, he's a sweetie. And this is why I'm not all with you today, because of Kaylin. This is the new addition to our family, and she is very, very greedy. I can't forget about the security of our family. This is Nico. We've had him since we were married, so he's been introduced to our children. He is their big brother. He was our first child, and Nico is very protective of all of us. He's a Cocker Spaniel. So a bit about me, I do like to learn. I attended Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches, Texas, where I was a double major in biology and sociology. I later attended the Texas Chiropractic College, where I earned my doctorate of chiropractic. I do have other certifications that I've earned within my profession as a chiropractor and health science instructor, which I'll go over those with you throughout the semester, throughout the year, because some of those certifications you can earn as well. What is important to me? God, my family, and producing productive people such as yourselves. You my sugars and I will go through the fire with you. But I will only go through the fire with you if you meet me halfway. I won't do the work for you. You have to do it too. I will protect you as much as I can. I will help you as much as I can. If I don't know the answer, I will definitely find it for you. By all means, please ask any questions whether you find it ridiculous silly or you just ashamed nobody else will ever know anything that you've ever asked me if you have a question ask don't hold it to yourself because you might really need to know again I will protect you and go through the fire as much as I can with you but you have to meet me halfway and don't take my kindness for weakness. That, that'll get you in trouble. So my stuffs, things that I do, things that I like. My favorite color is black. My favorite meal is a really, really good cheeseburger. So if it's from McDonald's, that's not a really good cheeseburger. Whataburger is cool, but I prefer a homemade well-seasoned ground beef medium well with cheese cheese burger and no onions my hobbies are cooking and gardening some of my students from last year probably will spill the beans that yes i will cook for you but that's only only if you deserve it and gardening well for the past two years i've had kids two babies so I haven't been able to do my garden the way that I've wanted to, but I always have a garden every summer. Cucumbers, jalapenos, I've had a baby watermelon. I'll probably put some pictures in here too to show you. But that's a release for me. I like being outside, I like being in the dirt, and it's just a calming activity. You should try it. I'm very organized. If you can't tell that by now, just by looking at your syllabus, everything that I've asked you to do at this point, I suggest you get a planner and write it down, or as I stated in my previous video, put it in your very smart phone. My pet peeve, I have a few. 
but you'll have to just learn them when I return. But if you had me, you already know. I don't take excuses. It's just, you know, it's too much. I will call you out if I need to. Sometimes a good check, you might not like it, but I'm going to call you on it. Now, the one thing I will not ever do is I will not gut check you in front of your peers. That is very unprofessional to me. That's something that my mother and my father taught me because they were in management. You don't ever embarrass somebody for something that they've done or they may not have known. But if it's something that I expect of you, I'll pull you to the side and we might have a little conversation. So that's the end of me. Again, I apologize that I'm not here with you today, but I have to take care of my little one. So I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in October. And until then, always feel free to email me, post on Padlet, and I will contact you as soon as I can. Y'all take care.